know a lot of times here in the shop you'll see us make new threads with a tap or even restore existing threads, but that's female threads. We don't really talk about male threads because a lot of times it's easier to just replace a bolt or a stud rather than restore it. But there's times when if you're restoring a vehicle, you've got a hard to find bolt, something rare or something that came original on the car, or if you just don't have time to run to the store or you can't find the bolt, well, if you want to restore those threads, I'm going to show you how to do that today a couple different ways. Got a couple of different bolts here that are damaged in different ways here on the threads. On this one, the threads are smashed flat, like you either hit them with a hammer or got them caught in a vise or rounded them off with a pair of pliers. But this one over here is a little more common. This one's cross threaded. Now I know that looks pretty bad, but I think we can fix them both up. Well, there's a couple of different tools that you can use to fix those. And the first one we're gonna talk about is this thread file or a thread restoring file. Now you may recognize this, in your dad or your papa's toolbox, you maybe didn't know what it was, but what's cool about this, this tool has eight different sizes of thread pitch on it. Everything from 11 up to 24, which is really fine. Now we need 14 for this particular bolt that we have. And as you see, this bolt just sits right in there and it'll cut those flat spots off of these threads. All right, let's give that a try. Yep, works just right. Now it takes a little bit of elbow grease, but it does the trick. Now as for this cross threaded bolt, well, we're gonna need a different tool for that. Well, this is just your run of the mill die out of a tap and die set, and it's wider here on this side, and it tightens up as it comes through onto this side. Now that's what cuts the threads, those teeth down inside there. We're just gonna install it in this T handle here, get it tightened down into place, we can run our bolt through this way. Looks like we lost a couple threads there at the end, but that's okay. If you're trying to salvage a bolt, you can usually withstand that. See if this nut goes on there. Nice and easy.